Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank. Today, we're going to turn this sucker on and see what we can do. Right now, this machine completely stopped working. I hit the power button on. Nothing comes on. Uh, make sure that the power's on. Nothing comes on. Everything is dead. Um, don't know what to do here. Uh, we have a hefty duty nvidia i mean radeon card in here all of a sudden it just stopped working completely all the memories in, embedded properly everything looks like it's correct install we it was working fine if you guys can see the dust in here i might have to clean it up uh it just stopped working you know from uh as soon as we did an upgrade on the actual video card uh played a couple of games and then just completely died out so my theory here it could be the v it could be the actual power supply i'm not getting any power at all um it's not turning on anything normally we plug it in something lights up today nothing is lighting up not even the actual little little light the red light that turns on in here when there's power indicating that there's power but unfortunately it's completely dead and the only suspect that i think it is so uh, is the power supply we have here an adapter that i have an extra adapter to test the power supply by itself First, we're gonna run the test by itself. Uh, make sure that the, the power supply is working um, prior to the motherboard, or it could be a motherboard issue. It could be multiple issues, but today, suspect number one, it's uh, looks like the power supply. Uh, we're gonna do that, and if you guys don't have this, you can order this online. It's to test your power supply without anything connected to it. Normally, you need a motherboard or something to trigger the whole system out, but today, we only have this and we're going to go ahead and plug it in and test it out from here and see how it works. So let's disconnect this completely out of it and let's do a little time lapse and see how we can do. The way we're gonna test it out is simple, right? Like I told you, I have this adapter here that was specifically um, pinned. If you guys can see, I'm gonna actually post this. So you can buy this online. Uh, it has two pins in there. There are already triggering. The, it's for triggering the system. I'm not familiar with the 100%. I just use this a lot. I know that. Uh, making the pins is easy. I've done it before. I actually even created my own, but this one I purchased. So let's go ahead and start. We're gonna plug it in, the motherboard connection, all right? Here's a motherboard. All you have to do is follow the same connection as you had it in the motherboard, the 40 and the 20 together, all right? Plug it in. Let me line it up first, there we go. Line it up. Simple as puzzle pieces. Connecting it, that's a power supply right now. Make sure you're doing it in a non-static area, all right? So you don't wanna be away from everything. This is wood, so we're okay right now. Um, then we just locate the power. We're gonna plug something in here, or we just, just leave it by itself too, all right? So you can see the actual power adapter. So let's plug it in. And we're gonna plug, turn it on. And as you can see, it is the power supply. It's completely dead. I'm not getting anything whatsoever. So no power whatsoever. That was the suspect, the actual power adapter. So I do have a couple of them that we're gonna test out too. And if you can see the fan is not even running, it's completely dead. Um, so that's one way I was able to test out things before I prior to testing out. I know a lot of people reset the memory, the CPU, the GPU and all that crap. But normally you, when you do this a lot, you know exactly what it is, all right? There is no power to the, any of the systems or any of the lighting or anything like that. That's an indication that it's a power supply. All right, let's take a look at a cool master that we're gonna test out right now. Um, that It's an old cool master I have. It's a 750 that I replaced a while back. Uh, we're gonna see if this one works. I'm not quite sure. I just undust it right now, clean that as much as I can. Uh, what I like about the cool masters, you can always add different connections. So your cable management is really simple. You can remove, replace, and so forth. And they give you um, names here, like you know CPU, GPU, and so forth. So right now this is the motherboard. Um, I, I like that they gave the option even to remove that part. And then the SATAs, more SATAs, you can add more. 
and CPU and um, PCI uh, components too in here and the SATA connection. So we got a couple of them. You can see the CPU, it's right here. Uh, this is gonna be for the, the, this is gonna be for the GPU. Of course, I like this, that it's short too. I like that the cable management is really good on these things. We're gonna test it out first because I'm not testing out for quite a while and I don't know why I replaced it. Uh, it's a cool message, a really good system. I mean, so we're gonna take a look. I'm gonna replace it, we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna see the fan turns on. So let's go ahead and pull all these things out. Plug it in and test it out. There it is. I'm gonna bring the camera a little closer. So it's turning on. So it is working. I don't have anything connected to it right now, but we're, this is how you test it out with this component. So I'm gonna turn it off right now, completely off. No more power, it's gonna stop. And we're gonna add this power supply to the system that we had. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. Um, make sure we have all the components that we're gonna need, require all the stuff. And of course, I do need some SATAs, the older version of the SATA connection, which is here for the actual um, um, fans. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And that's easy as replacing something simple as this. We're gonna go ahead and replace this. And great tool to have. I'm gonna rec highly recommend you have in case you wanna just Unplug everything on your motherboard and just testing it out. It's the best thing to do that. So let's go ahead and go ahead and replace this component with a new component, right? <music> Test right now. We plugged everything in. We haven't done any cable management or anything like that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can power this up without the GPU and um, See if anything lights up. So we're plugging it in You might see a power or something pop up now. I'm gonna crank it up And let's turn this on here. Oh, 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 oh. Let's turn it on See if anything pops out Oh, it was a it was a power supply if you guys can see it very simple so I'm gonna turn it off again. Everything's lighting up exactly like it's supposed to light up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. All right, we got the system running. You can see it's working now. Uh, simple as a power supply. Um, not enough power was juicing up on this system. We're still gonna mess around with the LED lights, replace them or change them because um, they're blinking too much. Um, we could go in the settings and remove them and change them but it seems like all fans are working including the cpu one plenty of power for the gpu I'll take a look at it 